Hello everyone and today we are going to take a look at a great tool called FZF, which stands for Fuzzy Finder. FZF is a general purpose command line fuzzy finder as the definition claims. But what does that actually mean? The definition is rather succinct and doesn't disclose all wealth of the powerful capabilities. It's a very popular project to rank at more than 20,000 stars on the GitHub, so it's worth taking a deeper insight. Most people who live in a command line environment are familiar with the concept of Unix filters when multiple independent utilities are composed together into a pipeline to produce a desired output step by step. For instance, this pipeline starts with an endless list of white characters and ends up with a list of strings. In simple terms, FZF is just another Unix filter. It reads whatever comes from STDIN, launches the interactive finder dialog, and writes the selected item to the STDout. A more practical example would be searching for files. The real advantage of FZF over regular find command is interactive search and instant feedback. Finding for files is so common scenario that you can just type FZF. It supports fuzzy matching, so you can just type several characters in a row and it will match lines with those characters scattered across the string. Items with exact match gets a higher rank and are shown at the top. If you don't like fuzzy matching, prefix text with a single quote or run FZF with the exact flag. It doesn't support globe patterns, so searching for star.sh would not work. But you can type multiple search terms delimited by a space, match items at the beginning or at the end of the string, and negate matching. FZF sends selected items to out, which is not pretty useful unless you pipe results somewhere next. For example, you can print information on selected files. Notice how you can select multiple items with a tab key. More common pattern is to take some action on a selected file, like opening it for editing. Or you can combine FZF with a history command to search for your recent commands. To make it more convenient, fuzzy completion can be triggered by a dedicated sequence. For instance, I want to open a single file from my .files project. But I only remember a part of file name and that it's somewhere under the directory system. No need to jump back to file manager like midnight commander. Just open fuzzy finder and here you go. Another feature I found really helpful in changing the way I'm working in a shell is changing the directory. Before FZF I was using Z-shell tab completions like this. Or yet another way of typing only first few characters of each path segment. Well, for sure that's easier than typing a full path manually, but still a bit painful. With FZF Changing directory is like a breeze. Use the same sequence to trigger fuzzy completion. While FZF is indexing directories, you can start searching. Get most of fuzzy searching by typing only parts of directory you recall best. If you don't like double star completion sequence, you can use keyboard shortcuts. Use Ctrl T to search for files and Opt C to change the directory. As stated before, FZF is a general-purpose command line fuzzy finder, which means it can work with any list of items. Let's see some other useful applications. If you are a backend developer and working with a number of remote servers jumping back and forth, you might appreciate the FZF and SSH combo. Let's jump to a remote server. But turns out I forgot the right name. Not an issue, double star to rescue. It pulls most recently used uh, IP addresses plus host names from SSH config and brings up the interactive finder dialog. Yeah. 
Sometimes we want to send a signal to a process, but first we need to obtain its speed. Usually we use pgrep command to resolve process ID by name, followed by a kill command, which refers that bit. With FZF you can combine both steps. You might be using Ctrl R keyboard shortcut to search through your command history, like this. That's great, but how about supercharging it with FZF, like this? It passed the selected text to the command line so you can tweak it further. Interactive Finder has some extra valuable features. For instance, you can select multiple items with Tab shortcut. Second, you can preview items as you search and navigate. You can use any kind of program for preview, but I am using BAT for syntax highlighting and color root output. Finally, you can execute custom action, for example, to copy path to the clipboard. There are a lot of configuration and customization options, so let's explore them a bit. First thing you might want to do is to change default find backend, for example to use tools like FD or RG instead of GNU find. To change uh, behavior of interactive finder dialog, you see FZF default opts environment variable. So we've scratched only the basics of FZF. I would really recommend it to anyone who working in a shell. It's a really prominent tool and has changed my command line habits, making my development experience even more pleasant. Ok, let's move on. In the second part of this video we will take a look at how Vim users can win from using FZF. FZF is also shipped as a Vim plugin. Install it with a plugin manager of your choice, for example using Vim plug. Once done, you got a handful of comments at your disposal. Before FZF I've been using Nerdtree plugin to explore project structure and navigate around. But usually it takes a while to locate the right directory and open the file. Plus it makes an extra context switch in my mind, and finally when I open file, I forgot why I need it. So, NERP tree is a good solution to explore an unfamiliar project, but to quickly open file in a timely fashion, I use FZF. Run files command and you would get the very same finder interface you get used to in a shell environment. Pick up a file using fuzzy syntax and open it. By default it opens up in a current window, but you can also open file in a split or in a new tab. It makes sense to assign keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl T or Ctrl P to such a common action. Personally, I am using leader O shortcut, where O is for open file. These shortcuts are borrowed from other popular text editors and IDs that are usually shipped with fuzzy file search and built in. Here is a quick look at how file search looks like in a Visual Studio code. You can preview files as you search and navigate, same as we did before in a command line environment. For syntax highlighting and color it output, I'm using BAT as a preview command. Personally, I've set the finder panel height at 40%. If you need more space, you can run finder in a full screen mode. Just append a bank character to the command. And have the preview window at the top. This is so awesome, isn't it? Here is the relevant configuration to run a finder in a full screen mode when suffix with a bank symbol. You can select multiple files with tab key and open all of them right away.
The only shortcoming of FZF is that it doesn't maintain the list of most recently used and opened files. For instance, if you open files A, B and C in a row, FZF will not pull them up to the top of the list. So if you are working with a small group of files, you would find it harder to switch between them forth and back, as neither Vim nor FZF aids you. You would have to search for them again and again. There are several workarounds. First, FZF maintains search history, so you can use dedicated shortcuts to get back to your recent search. Second, you can toggle between current and alternate file, or use another shortcut to jump to your previous cursor position. Recall that FZF is a general purpose tool and it is not limited to file search realm only. Time to push Vim to the next level and explore other applications. First, let's use FZF to open help pages. Fuzzy searching is invaluable here, because when I call for help most likely I don't have clear search query ready to go, so I just open Finder and look up for the right tag with some trial and error. With FZF you can search for any open files, called buffers. Instead of using a less command and picking up the right buffer number to open, you can use FZF. Still, it's not the MRU list, but it limits search to loaded files only, as opposite to listing all files in the project directory. Sometimes you need to type a file path. For example, you can save time with FZF Powerade file type completion. If you want to quickly jump within a file but don't want to continuously scroll the buffer all the way back, use FZF to look up the lines within a buffer. Once you made a selection, it jumps to the given line. Last but not the least example is a project-wide search for lines matching a pattern aka grab command. Sounds like a reasonable use case for the FZF tool. Search for a string project-wide and then you can further filter your search in FZF Finder with a nice colored instant preview of the given line. I would recommend checking out more FZF comments. For example, you can look up through command or search history, explore snippets or available commands, list file types or change color schemes. I hope you are impressed of how super awesome FZF is. Unlock your imagination and fit any kind of list into it to get cool and productive fuzzy finder for granted. With FZF, Vim can now compete with other popular text editors out there like Atom or Visual Studio Code and become more attractive option for those willing to give it a try. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video, see ya!